G'day folks, it's Patrick here. Well, I've got some more ingredients, some more uh, products that I want to use and try them out uh, from Rivet Gardener. Rivet himself sent me them in the mail. You may uh, remember I did a previous video on Bataga. That's right folks, I'll leave a link for that somewhere. Anyway, Rivet sent me some more stuff. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might make one thing, I might make five things, or I might make nothing. But anyway, let's get going and find out what I do. All right, folks, we've got three things here that I'm going to try and cook with. And the first one is countryside barbecue sauce. Looks amazing. Open it up. Ooh, oh yeah. That is, I'll tell you what, better give it a bit of a good old shake, just in case. Ooh, that does smell rather strong, in a good way, very smoky. Mmm. Oh. That's delicious. It's sweet. It's smoky. There's a slight spice to it. But it's not overpowering. It's quite subtle. I love this. Ancho chili powder, folks. It's used a lot in Mexican cooking and so forth. I've probably had it before in Mexican food I've eaten, but I've never tried to cook with it. Oh. Oh, that's a really interesting smell. Oh, I'm going to try a bit of this. Oh, wow. It's smoky. Almost tastes a bit like paprika. It's spicy. Yeah, there's a bit of spice to it. Mmm, I reckon this is going to be fabulous. And the third and final one, backyard steak shake. There you go. Open it up, that's what it looks like. Mm. Oh wow, really salty. There's a sweetness to it. I'm gonna enjoy trying to cook something with this, folks. So without further ado, let's go. Well, I reckon I've decided to make a few things here. I'm gonna make three things. I'm gonna make uh, some sort of a potato bake with this stuff. Uh, I'm gonna make, uh, try this on some chicken, I reckon. Uh, that'd be a good idea, see what that's like. And I'm gonna make, uh, use this and make a pizza. What do you think, eh? Let's go. Let's try a bit of this chicken with the backyard steak shake on it, eh? Oh, that's good. I think I might have gone a bit, <laughs> a bit overboard uh, with the seasoning there. It is so salty, and I'm a salt freak, but it is delicious. It gives it a really deep flavour. 
the spuds with the uh, ancho chili and I hope I hope I didn't um, overdo the ancho chili pepper but we're soon to find out aren't we here we go mmm I definitely didn't overdo the ancho chili uh, powder in this I'm glad I used as much as I did it gives it a smokiness. It gives it a richness. This potato bake's delicious. I've got a truckload of it left over. Look at this. Mmm. <laughs> Let's see how we go with a bit of this pizza. Can't wait to try this one. There you go, folks. Barbecue sauce is spot on on this. If you saw me, I didn't use too much of it. But the flavour of this countryside barbecue sauce is sensational, folks. A big thank you to John, Rivet Gardener. Go and check his channel out. He's an amazing man and an amazing cook. This was awesome. There's even more stuff I'm going to try in future videos. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later.